What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new build study. Most of you probably recognize this. This is the Timberstone Castle built by BW100 himself. Um, obviously, a very impressive castle. For those of you that are new to this series, I do build studies where we take other people's builds and we try to learn from them because there are thousands and thousands of great builders out there that know tricks that I do not know. And and it's like real art where you you draw someone else's work and try to try to see what they're seeing, learn from them, and that's what we do here. Um, I'm planning on making a castle in my uh, let's. Wow, there's something around here that when I look at it, it makes my frames drop. Um, <laughs> what was I saying? Oh yeah, I'm I'm planning on making a castle in my own world, and this is the second castle that we'll have looked at and taken notes from and i want to you know i don't I, I don't know how to lay out a castle and that's what i'm trying to learn you know detail i can figure that out and that's what we're looking at the layout of this castle now this detail is very aesthetically pleasing it's very pretty it's not my thing it's not what i'm going to be doing especially not in survival maybe in a creative build but i'm not going to do this in survival v dubs you're crazy uh so um if you're looking for how to do this this uh, detail, well, we're going to be doing more about the layout. And I've looked at this for quite a bit now, and I've I've noticed some very important things that I don't think B-Dubs necessarily thought of or was in his mind when he was building this. It's been so long ago. I don't remember all the things that he's talked about when he did this. But it's still something that I, I think we can learn from. And I've figured out some techniques that I think that you could learn or you could you could use to achieve a build something like this, whether you're in creative or survival. It doesn't really matter. So let's just simplify this build real quick and lay out. So there's an entrance right here, which, of course, is a focal point. By the way, in my Let's Play, we talk all the time about focal points, interests, uh, varying degrees of interest, and how to use it. Um, I think that's really important, and I think that's going to be a focus on this build study. So you you come through, and it reveals everything to you all at once. And that's a very strong effect, because now you're like, I got to go everywhere, or I can go anywhere, and, and there will be stuff to discover. You can go left. And there's a stairway. Who knows where that goes? It splits off into a couple directions. There's towers. You can go uh, adventure into those. You can go this way. There's another uh, pathway. There's this bridge thing that goes to, you know, nowhere. Um, there's this hallway here. Then that's not even getting to the main portion of the castle. It's nuts. It's an amazing effect. And I think that having this you know, one-time reveal like this is very important to that. I, I'm a big fan of that with castles. So he kind of partitions off his build into major focal points into different areas. So meaning there are things that you want to draw your eye or or someone else's, the viewer's eye, and there are things that you want to look good, but you don't necessarily want to be what draws your eye. So let's take this right here, for example. You want this to draw the eye. This is very beautiful, but it's not what's supposed to draw the eye. It's supposed to set the theme and the the, the atmosphere, which it does. It's awesome. The, the waterfalls used into the lake to give the very organic courtyard. It, it all ties in together beautifully. I gotta go sleep because for some reason this world download that I found does not have permissions to change daytime or anything. Anyways, with that being said, I think that there are three major focal points in this build. Number one is this wall because it's the first thing that you see when you come up to the castle from this way. The wall and this tower included. You come through here and then there's two major focal points, I think. Well, ex excluding this, because I don't think that this is a major, you know, interest point of the castle. 
the only reason why it could be is because it's right in your face. And honestly, I'm not even really a fan of this tower because you, you're, what do you do in towers? You, you look over stuff, right? You can't see anything in this tower that you can't see in any of the other towers. So I'm not even really a huge fan of that. And I think it almost pulls away from his major focal points. But his major focal points would be this building right here. Oh, something cut my frames down. And this right here, which is his throne room. And we can go into that real quick. If you've never seen this, he did awesome interiors in here. If I remember right, he stopped... Man, something is cutting my frames. He stopped uh, building in his Let's Play for a good number of months. And this was a while back. And um, then he ended up coming back in creative and really did a lot of work in creative on this castle. Which, good for him. He got a lot of work done. That's what I needed to do to get work done. Um, ooh, this one actually goes down. I don't think I've ever noticed that you can go into this castle. I wonder if it goes anywhere. Uh, maybe. <laughs> he does some interesting things with interior, but he definitely... Excuse me. Burps. He does. He definitely doesn't take... Oh my god. He definitely doesn't take advantage of it. Where does this go? Okay, whatever. Advantage of the interiors the way I wish he did. The interiors are like the un most unfinished part of this castle, but that's not really what we're looking at, so... Uh, I'll leave that to you, B-dubs. Anyway, so those are our two major focal points. And you know what? When you when I said this is a focal point, we can include this as well because I think that's so important to this, just setting the theme of it. Um, and then there's like medium focal points, things that are of interest, but they're not like the uh, defining features of the castle. That would be stuff like this hallway right here, this roofed portion right here, which is something that I would do. I do these all the time, or I love to do them all the time. I haven't lately, but I, I love to do these little areas right here. Um, these towers right here, I would consider that this right here, which leads into his uh, armory, I would definitely consider to be part of it. Another thing that I think is really interesting that he does is... And again, I don't even know if all this was on purpose, but I like it. He has varying degrees of detail or focal points on a vertical level. So the first major focal point that I talked about, the wall, is close to the ground. The second one being this building is, you know, or or maybe even not the focal points, but, you know, the the interesting parts in general. This whole side of the castle is interesting very low to the ground comparatively this side is that lower area is you know there's stuff there but they're it's not what's drawing your eye the very interesting part is this middle part and then on this side the interesting part is very high up right so i have these wool blocks here and you could almost partition off if you were to build something like this uh and and watch some guys in a uh you know time lapse video creative creative build they've got everything planned out in wool and different colors of wool for different things do that so this whole thing would be boxed out in red let's just say that red is like high high detail high interest pink is like uh medium interest and white is like uh this here which i think is supposed to be um an unbuilt portion of the castle possibly or even down here this could be white um if you think about it that way we'd have a red box here a red box here and a red box up here and that would really allow you to visualize your spread of interest and so you could do that and then you could look at around and then you'd be like well this side over here is all pink what could i do and this is something that i think that b-dubs could like c capitalize on you this whole wall right here could be pink 
Um, what else could he do with that? So you could add like a white box over here, and that could be something that really frames this mountain perhaps, or or you could have, I don't think that you'd want red over here, just because I think the three focal points that I pointed out are sufficient. I think if you had another red spot over here, that would just make you feel like, I don't know. I don't, I don't think being in the middle of four focal points is necessarily a good thing. Um, I think that this really gives you the opportunity to have a lot of pink and more than just this, like lots of buildings, lots of living areas, um, and really capitalize on the, you know, um, the pink is kind of like adventure area where it's not the main part port part hello that you want to go to but you can definitely wander around it this whole thing right here could be like houses and stuff um so maybe a higher volume of pink over there um that would also show me you know this could this all would be white right here so everything between these is pretty much white and I just realized you can't even really see what I placed because uh, there's already uh, snow everywhere but between there that could be like your white portion you don't build anything there you maybe terraform a bit you uh, to make it look really nice I don't know if he did or not um, it looks like he might have but that uh, makes it a little bit of white so not everything needs to be hyper deep so he does have his hyper detail but he doesn't use it everywhere. I think if he used that hyper detail in these walls right here, it would have been like overwhelming. Like you couldn't differentiate anything. Everything would just look like a conglomeration of whatever this sort of detail is. Another important thing that I think that he does really well is viewpoints, vantage points. So there's this uh, walkway here. And side note, I think that he... There's not really, like, a main entrance into this stuff, like, into the castle. Like, there's a walkway here, there's a walkway here, and there's one hidden back there. And there might be more that I don't know about, but they're, like, all hidden. They're all off to the side. I kind of wish that maybe over here there was, like, a more dedicated walkway into everything. It just feels like like it's not designed like to actually be used, just aesthetic. But I really like this. This really gives you a nice view of like being inside, but having a good view of the outside. And then you come up here, I think. And it gives you this, I think, is like the most important or the most impressive rather view of the entire build. Because you look down and there's interesting stuff. You look straight across, there's interesting stuff. You look straight up, uh, close to you, far from you, to your left, to your right. This is like the best view in the castle. And then there's this second little courtyard. Anyways, I think that we learned what I want to learn from it. We could, you know, take a lot of time and look at how how he uses like the unfinished areas or whatever those are supposed to be how he contrasts the theme of the courtyard versus all of this. You know, you can gather stuff from all that, and I think there definitely needs to be that contrast. Um, but I think I learned what I need to learn. If I, if I were to start my castle today, I'd probably go out, farm lots of three different kinds of wool, and find a landscape. Now, his landscape here practically builds on itself. Um... It's like, it's perfect for where he built, or what he built in it. Um, but I'd probably, like, and you can build the boxes, and the boxes don't even necessarily need to be perfect. You can stray from your boxes, but as, as long as you're getting that outline of your focal points, and you get that layout, I think that you're going to be on a good path. Your second stop after that's going to be um, block selection and theme 
because obviously I'm not going to detail like this. So that's like my my next thing. But anyways, thank you for watching, everybody. If you liked it, leave a like and subscribe. I try to do these quite a bit so that I can learn because I'm striving to be a better builder. And that's what, what these are for, learning from other people. So thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.